Today, I'm giving you the lowdown on how to make some sweet action animations. For this video, we're going to start with basic stances, ideas, and choreography. Let's move into the scene. Here we have a couple familiar faces. You'll recognize them as Barbara Dunkelman and The Great One from the hit anime Rubis. Today, they really hate each other, but they can only kill each other with our help. So let's do that. First, let's get into proper position. Angle the pelvis towards your opponent and keep your character's legs in a straight line slightly to the left of the enemy for balance reasons. Now, if you're animating girls, it's a good idea to keep their knees together, unless you want to go into Nora territory. So after you have a rough animation done, check it out from a couple different angles and fix some stuff up. Just don't forget to keep a nice clean line of action. Step 2. Coming up with the idea. Now that you have some fundamentals down, let's figure out what we're actually animating. Almost all of my inspiration comes from Dead Fantasy and the Clone Wars cartoon in terms of flow, speed, and ridiculousness. Otherwise, watching other action-oriented media like anime or action movies can be plenty inspiration by themselves. If you're having trouble with originality, use the gamepad method. Treat your characters like they have fighting game movesets. High punch, low punch, block, etc. Step 3. Choreography. To actually start putting moves together, you can try a couple different techniques. If the fight's gonna run long, I'd draw it out, as seen here for an animation I haven't finished. But if it's something simple like what I've done for the video, I can easily keep it in my head. When you start stringing together moves, make sure they flow into each other. You want to avoid sudden stops. Every move should lead into another move. Here's two different attempts at the same animation. One where Pure stops herself after her swing, and one where she spins into it. Major difference. Quick tip. Spinning is a good trick. While you're doing this, don't also forget that your characters aren't part of a hive mind. Every movement should be considered an individual decision made by the character. At the same time, don't forget that your characters are trying to hit each other. Keep in mind what your character is trying to hit when they attack and what their opponent will try to protect. If your idea still seems kind of lackluster, throw in a wild card. Here's an example. Things look cool. Could be cooler though. There we go. Try that on for size, Pira. Step four, animation. Listen, man. Anyone can tell you how to animate. It's everywhere. The info that will befall you here is my advice specific to fight animations. Not to be mistakenly used to animate tender romance scenes. You have been warned. First off, block the step tangents and move into linear tangents. Spline tangents are messy and require cleanup. If you're animating for a deadline or for fun, working with linear tangents is faster and gives you a better idea of what the final animation will look like. When it comes to extremes like Yang's punch, you want to make that action happen in less than three frames. If a character makes a hard block like this one, make one frame of animation basically a still frame. It goes by fast, but it still leaves you with a tangible impact. When you animate a scene, your character is going to be moving around a lot, so you don't lose track of your hands, pair them to your character's pelvis. This will make your life a bit easier. Animate on threes, and then retime the poses when you're done. You don't want to muddle yourself by having two characters moving at different times with keyframes all over the place. Every three frames, put down a new pose for both characters, and then retime it later. There you go! Now that we've posed, punched, and polished our animation, let's have a look at what we did. Wow. Can you say fight animation prodigy? In all seriousness, I hope some of this was helpful. All the fight animation tutorials I can find are in 2D, so I figure I'd corner the market on 3D ones. If there's anything I brought up in the video you'd like to hear me explain in more depth, let me know in the comments. I'm constantly checking my notifications. There's a good chance I'll respond. Special thanks to my patrons Aurum, Cramium, Hal, Dark Abyssus, Marcos, Sarge, Katotoro, and Book Cannon to whom I owe the video idea. 